I first grabbed a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and take that sticker right off. And then I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. And I'm just going to be painting the outer edge of that pizza pan. You don't have to fill up the middle section because I'm gonna go over that with something else later on. I did end up doing two coats of this. You wanna dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then just allow everything to completely dry. Next, I found this placemat also came from Dollar Tree. It is not in their fall section. I found it in the kitchen aisle. And just a fun tip, the splatter screen that you could get from Dollar Tree fits perfectly inside of those pizza pans. So I use that to trace out the placemat and then just go ahead and cut that right out. And again, it's going to fit perfectly inside of that pizza pan. I then just grab some of this Dollar Tree adhesive glue. I'm gonna place that right onto the pizza pan. And this is used just for a stronger hold. And then I am using some hot glue for a much quicker hold. So I do half of the pizza pan first, just to make sure that my hot glue doesn't dry up on me. And then I go ahead and do the bottom half. Just smooth it out until it is completely adhered. And then just grabbed some nautical rope, also came from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start hot gluing this all around the pizza pan. So I am starting on the left side of the pizza pan because I'm going to be covering that up anyways. So again, just continue hot gluing this all around. I did end up doing two rows of the nautical rope. And this is just going to cover up the cut edge of that placemat. Next, I decided to create a shabby and messy bow. So I am just using some random fabric. You could pick up from Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, wherever. So I just make sure that my strips are long enough. And what I like to do at the bottom of the fabric, I just cut a little slit and then just begin ripping those strips right off. Then I just began laying down some of those strips going horizontally. I placed about six of them down and then using a zip tie, I just zip tied those all together. So this just creates a super large tassel. I did decide that those uh, strips were just a little too long, so I just cut them down to size. And then to create the actual bow, I just laid down some more of that fabric in almost like an awareness ribbon form. And I just piled those strips on top of each other until I was satisfied to how full and how big it was going to be. And again, just held that together using a zip tie. And then go ahead and grab the first strips because that's going to be kind of like the tails of the bow. And this is just gonna make it super big and super messy. It's just so cute. I think it's fun. So zip tie those together. And then with another piece of fabric, I just tie it around the middle just to cover up those zip ties. I then had this pumpkin pick that I got from Walmart last year. So I'm just finding a good placement for it on the side of the pizza pan using some more of that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a ton of hot glue. I just held that down until it was completely adhered and then just hot glued the bow right underneath. If your tails are just a little too all over the place, by all means, go ahead and trim those down so that way it's not covering the entire image of that placemat. And then for a hanger, I just hot glued some nautical rope onto the back of the pizza pan. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I love how big and crazy it is on the side. I think it just, it looks so cute. I think it looks adorable. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.